Hey, this is Swaggers, and this is Hitman Sniper Challenge. If you pre-order Hitman Absolution, uh, you get this nice little downloadable game. I'm playing on 360. Um, don't know if there is a um, PS3 version, but how this game works is there are challenges. You do not have to complete them all in one game, but every time you complete one, it gets your multiplier up, so you can get higher score. And I'm going to show you my game where I got almost everything at once. Um, the first is an elevator challenge, and wait for the guy to get all the way up there, and then shoot him so he falls into the elevator, and that is elevated. And that's right away. you got to do that right away. Okay, now you're going to see this guy here. Normally you'd shoot him in the head so that he falls over the edge, but if you see this little uh, lift there with a bunch of barrels of liquor on it, you know, on it um, you can see that, yeah, that looks like something you might want to drop on a guy's head. So we're going to wait, wait till he gets to about the middle there, and then shoot the first wire, and that's going to fall and smash on his head, and boom. And that's 20,000 points right there. And there you go, it's a trap, that's number two. Now there are some guys around the edge, you need to sh not shoot the guy, but what you're trying to do is shoot off uh, the punching bag there. and that'll fall and then he'll kinda walk over and there's long live the Patriot that's three of them done now we're looking for the ninja and he's actually on that building I was looking at there you go up the top and he's just sitting right there Hit him, boom, he falls. Leap of the Ninja. Four challenges done. Okay, so now we're going to do the pigeons. There are five of them. First one right here on this lamppost. Um, the second one's the really only the real kind of hidden one, and it's on that light. It's on the spotlight. And then go up, and there's one on this lighting rig. Okay, and then hard right. There's one on the right side near this roof garden. And then there's one on the bottom right here. And when you shoot all five of them, that is going to spawn a moving pigeon. It only spawns when you kill all five. It's going to be coming from left to right. And this is, this is hard. It's moving. And it's not going to come back. You have just this time. I'm like, oh. Boom, on the last shot. Again, you can come in and do that, but you do have to do all five pigeons again. Okay, now there is three stripper um, things. There's a boot. Uh, there's a hat on top of this bear. And then there is a nurse uh, hat on this bench. And that's going to give you wow. But also by doing all of that... You will spawn the stripper up in the window here, and she'll do a little dance for you. And this goes on for a while. Feel free to watch it, but again, you have to get all three of the stripper items for it to happen. Okay, now there's gnomes we need to get, and you have to do these in order. And the first one is under the helipad here. The other ones don't spawn unless you shoot that one. So then we're going to go hard right, and there'll be one now here low. And then there's two of them in this guy's um, apartment. Don't kill him. He counts as a civilian. You'll lose points. Boom! And there's all the gnomes. Now there are... Uh, I'm going to do the ducks next. Yeah, the three rubber ducks. One is by the pool, by the stripper boot. And I missed... And then one's kind of near the party area by that big topiary tree. And the last one's by the bottom right, and it's on this uh, bird bath. And there you go, there's that challenge. Okay. Now there are ten mines, 
uh, for whatever reason, near the party. Um, if someone walks near them, they're going to blow up, so it's not going to count against you, but again, that's why we're not going to be able to get everything on this run. Um, we'll come back to another video and do the headshots. we we'll just do them, you know, run at a time. Boom, and see that blows up, so now we're exposed, and obviously we didn't get headshots, and we didn't get headshots by using the trail. And one final one. That's your main target, Richard Strong. And now we're going to take the guy out so that we can keep playing because now he's alerted. And if he gets to the helicopter, it's all over. Boom! The targets are leaving. Okay, and then. Next, on the bottom left, there's a guy sticking his head out the window as a chipmunk. Don't have to shoot him, you just have to see him. And there you go. I hope you have a good um, and now we are restarting after finishing that one. We're going to do the challenge that you... Uh, get everyone off in two and a half minutes and it's misleading because you don't have to kill everyone they just have to disappear so you just want to take him away him out immediately and anyone who's kind of hanging around shoot but generally they're gonna run and as long as they run and uh, leave within two and a half minutes you're gonna be fine so use your instinct which is right bumper to look for people who maybe don't know that you're an alert yet or for some reason decided not to run And that'll take care of them. And then we'll come out, come back next video with the final two challenges, which is to get all headshots, uh, which I'll show you where to take people off there, at least my, where I take them out. And then we'll also do the Mr. X one, which is the final one. You have to have all the other challenges done before we can start that one. So there you go. Uh, enjoy. And uh, I can't wait for the game. I've always loved Hitman. I'm surprised it's taken them this long to make another game. And uh, I hope it's great, and I'm glad this, this challenge definitely got me in the mood uh, to play some more Hitman. Position and the agency will take care of cleanup.